It is the most beautiful expressway in China. In China, roads are treated as an important instrument of statehood. So much attention is paid to the problem. The pace of construction reaches 30,000 kilometers of multi-lane highways per year, and its technology, laying the base of the bed of concrete slabs and covering it with asphalt ensure operation in 30 to 40 years. A mere 1% reduction in travel time for passengers or freight allows a 0.25% increase in the country's GDP growth, a lot or little at a time when some of the world's stagnating economies are now struggling for fractions of a percent. It makes them and many others hastily turn their eyes to the need to develop high-speed modes of transportation and to develop the corresponding high-quality high-speed road infrastructure. The Yashi Expressway in China has been called a super steep structure. The line of the road winds between high mountains and powerful ridges. On average, for each one kilometer its average elevation increases by 7.5 meters above sea level. So the road is also called the high-speed stairway to the sky and the highway above the clouds. The 240-kilometer road is officially called Yasi, cost more than $4 billion, and took five years to build. It has become a tourist attraction because it winds through the scenic landscape of Sichuan province. Not only is this region extremely mountainous, but it is also an active earthquake zone. So Sky Road's designers had to use innovative thinking and engineers solved the problem by using tunnels and viaducts to cover half of its length. Sky Road's chief engineer Peng Li said, Building modern roads, it is very challenging from a technological point of view because we have to keep up with the development of the automobile industry and when designing road surfaces and layouts there are many factors from modern luxury cars, passenger expectations are high, so roads must be designed to match the smooth running and comfort inherent in luxury cars. To do this, we've used a myriad of innovative technologies, materials, and features including the world's longest continuous downhill of 51 kilometers with a 3% grade and the world's first double helix tunnel. One of the biggest challenges in building Sky Road was its location in a geologically unstable region prone to earthquakes. Not only did this affect the design, but it also meant that the structure had to be strong enough to withstand such potential natural disasters. There were often a lot of landslides, which made construction very difficult, Lee added, and in terms of design, it takes a lot of innovation to create a high-speed highway that will work consistently in an earthquake-prone region. Sky Road cut in half the travel time between Chengdu and Yiliangshan, and opened up a region of China known for its tea production, as well as ceramics, flowers, silk, spicy food and wild pandas. The Yashi Highway is one of the most magnificent and extraordinary projects in the world, with 270 viaducts and 25 tunnels. The total length of the tunnels along the road is about 41 kilometers. The Gaihanzi and Taiyajazi double helix tunnels are the first tunnels of this type in the world with small radii. The Nebuchan Tunnel is one of the largest, deepest tunnels in China, with a depth of 1,650 meters and a length of 9,962 meters on the left line and 1,007 meters on the right line. This tunnel reduced a journey that took hours around the mountains and through the valleys to just 10 minutes. The jewel of the new highway is the Labajin Girder Bridge with one of the highest bridge piers in the world with a height of 182.5 meters. Unlike other large piers in China, the tallest piers on the Leibojing Bridge were built with four steel angle columns that were filled with concrete and connected with concrete slabs, forming a hollow box structure. 
This unique type of pier has never been built before. It is believed that the Yasi Expressway, this mountainous area with the worst natural environment, the most complex engineering, and the highest technological content in the world. Therefore, it has a reputation as a heavenly road. The Chinese believe that quality roads don't come cheap, but off-roading is more expensive. At the same time, the Chinese know how to count money. In the construction of modern highways they use time-tested experience and the best technological solutions taken from the German autobahns and American highways, which do not require repair for 35 to 40 years. And this is exactly where China is able to study, adopt, copy and implement the world's advanced technologies, while incorporating its own Chinese specifics.